Listen up, because like Biggie Smalls, I've got a story to tell. And it starts off bad, but just follow me on it, okay? There is a young lady in Brazil, and her name's Pollyanna, and uh, she's sitting on a bench, just minding her own business. She's looking at her cell phone, like we all do. You sit on a bench, you look at your cell phone. And while Pollyanna was sitting on that bench, there was a gentleman that went and sat down next to her, and he just kind of sat a little too close and made her a little uncomfortable. And Pollyanna just felt a certain way about it. So she took that cell phone and she started to put it in her pocket. It was at that moment when the gentleman sitting next to her gestured to something that was shaped like a gun in his pocket and demanded that she hand over the cell phone. Now, you've chronicled before that you've been in similar situations and in that moment, it, you just don't know how to act. So what did Pollyanna do? She evaluated the thing that was shaped like a gun in the pocket and she was like, I don't think that's a real gun. And so what did Pollyanna do? Little did this man who attempted to rob Pollyanna know, Pollyanna is a professional MMA artist that fights in the UFC. So Pollyanna mm. stood up, punched him in the face, wow. kicked him in the face, and put him in a choke lock, and then called the authorities and held him in the lock until the authorities came. Now I just wanna show you just a little example of the results of this incident <laughs> that you can see here. On the left, obviously, is Pollyanna. <laughs> On the right is the gentleman that attempted to rob her. Now, there are a lot of lessons here. One thing I wanna draw from this is, first of all, don't try to commit a crime because this is probably what you deserve. Second of all, for everyone out there that ever thinks about doing anything disrespectful or physical or anything to another human being, you cannot judge a book by its cover, especially in today's day and age when there are so many MMA gyms out there. So if you think you're in a bar and someone disrespects you or steps on your feet or whatever, no matter how big or small they are, just remember, they could have what Pollyanna had in her in them. What was your takeaway from this story? I like this story. I'm glad it's something that Dana White shared. And now for just media consumption, as well as our program. Now we gotta get her to be a guest on the show and interview her about this. I would love that. Pollyanna Viana now has two new fans. There is not going to be a single fight during which I will not cheer for her to win. Shout to Pollyanna. And again, I want this not just be a lesson for would-be robbers. This should be a lesson for all human beings walking the earth. You do not know what a stranger has gone through, what a stranger is trained to do, what a stranger's day was like. You do not know, so you're best just minding your own business and keeping to yourself.